You've got to give me a good reason, at least two, why you don't like Trump. He's racist. Oh my God. Yup, boo me. This is beautiful. Charlie Kirk melts her purpled haired brain with two logical questions. It's a joy. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom loving friend. This is where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants and Satan. Shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters because truth conquers. Occasionally I wear a backwards hat. Now, a lot of times how truth can conquer is just simple logical questions handed to a person when they're in the mindset of being willing to consider them and not just emotionally react, but logically contemplate them. It's one of the most beautiful ways that truth conquers. And I believe Charlie Kirk, he is an amazing freedom fighter and he likes to do something called going to college campuses and asking rageful liberals logical questions. It's poetry in motion. And yeah, well, we'll get to this purple haired girls. <laughs> I do, maybe girl, I don't know, actually. I'll get to her mind melting in a second. But also at the end of the video, we'll see evidence that she is actually the racist. So let's dive in for the sake of conquering all that is not truth. And that typically hides under the scalp of blue and purple haired people. And by the way, as we watch this, point of reference, notice Charlie Kirk's demeanor. He is calm. He's got a friendly demeanor. He's not attack. He's not asking questions like so fast, like interrogating where she can't possibly answer. He's not trying to win out of brute force. I actually think he's trying to make her win, not her propaganda win, but he's trying to wake her up to truth. Let her find her own conclusions. And he probably knows, and this is a note to all freedom fighters when we're talking to people that don't agree with us, a friendly calm demeanor is a real good thing. It invites more potential for logical consideration rather than us coming with uh, combative energy that just magnetizes more of the same. So he even at one time tells the crowd that was on his side to calm down and stop heckling her. Let's take a look. You gotta give me a good reason, at least two, why you don't like Trump. He's racist. So that's question number one. Give me a good reason why you don't like Trump. Boo me. Use Google. Thank you guys. She looks very vaccinated. Okay, so let me ask you a dumb question. Uh -huh. Can you can you define what does it mean to be racist? By the way, I love how he phrased that. Let me ask you a dumb question. So he's just packaging self-deprecation with that. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose, but it is a strategy to get another person less defended because it's kind of like, hey, I just actually offended myself. And they're kind of like at a subconscious level, there can't be two people against one in a conversation that only has two people. So that's like a strategy that kind of gets the other person on your side. Just hopefully not to manipulate them, but just building rapport, getting them less offended. So dumb question. Give me an example of how he's racist, which by the way, I'll also point out, he's not even at the point of asking, how do you think Trump is racist? Because that skips a very important foundation for that question to potentially sit on is, give me your definition of what it is to be racist. Because however you think he's racist, we can't really consider that until I understand, purple haired girl, what your definition of racism is because you're using that to describe Trump. Cool, what do you mean by that? <laughs> do, you, do you want me to look up a definition? No, no, I want you to, you, you said he's a racist, so you, yeah. must, you must have a definition of racism in your mind. Tell me what that definition is. Body language expert alert, she's crossed her arms. So that tells you she's feeling insecure with that very simple question. I mean, she used a big word, racist, to describe President Trump. So this is, I would say, suggesting she feels insecure with her, she now feels insecure with her accusation towards President Trump. We'll get back to the video in just a second, but first, natural disasters are a reality, my friends, from Maui Wild fires to Hurricane Helene. We're seeing natural disasters take out entire towns within 24 hours with minimal warning resulting in a lack of basic resources. And I get it. We're wired to think the dangerous thought that could never happen here. Then we blink and all of a sudden we're in survival mode. Being prepared in advance is your best defense against the unexpected. And we've also learned 
we unfortunately can't rely on our government. And what you can do is know that the wellness company's emergency kits completely remove the gatekeepers and provide you with a mini pharmacy all from the comfort of your own home. Bacterial infections, staph, bite wounds, UTIs, strep throat, and respiratory illnesses. You no longer have to be at the mercy of someone else to help you and your family. You probably keep a fire extinguisher on hand in case of a fire, don't you? Well, it's probably a good idea to have some basic medicines on hand in case you need them. Same concept, different product. Getting an emergency kit is fully digital, all from the convenience of your couch. You fill out an intake form, a pharmacist reviews it and approves it, and you get your kit within two weeks. And the medical board approved guidebook crafted by Dr. Peter McCullough guides you on exactly what to do. Get your wellness company emergency kits by going to twc.health slash jpreacts and use code jpreacts to save up to $60 off plus free shipping. USA residents only pays to be American and that's twc.health slash jpreacts. Get yours today. Now, back to the video. Okay, so ooh, I'm gonna make, make you guys wait on this. Ooh, zero. Body language expert alert. She She's just rambling right now. That's also a sign of discomfort, anxiety, insecurity. Zero knowledge. Guys, pl please don't heckle. I, just, I'm, I'm, I, I want to try to understand. And you can see her shifting side to side. I watch a body language expert's analysis breakdown of the Tim Waltz, J.D. Vance interview. And at times you saw Tim Waltz bouncing side to side. It's just pure discomfort displayed through body language because these words have a lot of meaning yeah but you can't get i, I, mean, I know it's hard on the spot i just want you to think about it because if you say trump is a racist you yeah. should be able to easily give a definition of what that word means so it's hatred towards another race right so when has he ever exhibited that give me spe clear and specific examples you got one so now she's literally asking a person next to her, do you got one? Do you have a definition for racist? Like, which is also showing she she's using that word without a clear meaning of what she means by the word she's using. So what we're seeing right now in front of us is a, a, a calm, slow breakdown of her brain. Also body language expert uh, alert. This guy t to the left of Charlie Kirk, uh, that's a security guy you're not gonna wanna mess with. He has his hands in the ready position. Pistol. If you see a guy standing there with sunglasses, looking serious, looking jacked, hands in that position, don't start peacefully protesting because that's a guy who knows how to handle himself and is armed. Um. Well, yeah, I heard someone say he told, uh, told Yes. Okay, but let me just help you out here. Uh -huh. What you think he's a racist because the media has told you he's a racist. Because you can't give me an example off the top of your head and even when you phone a friend to the audience. Not, I'm not criticizing you. Maybe the media is lying to you. Maybe the man who's being called a racist is actually someone that's trying to improve lives of all Americans. What I think this is beautiful, and I'll criticize her till the end of time because she has purple hair, but the beautiful thing about her right now is you can tell she's thinking, she's contemplating, like, what just happened? Like, what? Yeah, I said that, and I don't know what I mean by that. And then how Charlie Kirk phrased what he thinks is going on, maybe you're brainwashed by the media. He didn't say, you're brainwashed by the media. He said... Maybe you're brainwashed by the media. Now you and I would go all in on she's brainwashed by the media, but he's saying it in a very inviting, non-combative way, maybe, which is a, a beautiful communication strategy so that you don't just trigger her defense mechanisms coming up. To her purple-haired credit, she is in a place of real consideration right now. And to Charlie Kirk's credit, his, I would say, expert use of communication techniques and language choices has helped facilitate her to be in this contemplative state. Now, is she going to go home from this discussion and like, I'm going to vote for Trump? I doubt it, but I think some of her Ice Age propaganda frozen in her brain, I think some of it's melting away. I think this is fun, guys, so. 
Now, here's some speculation on what might have been going on in her stunned mind. Perhaps she was realizing Trump's not only not racist, I'm the racist. Why is that? Because there she is, white purple haired lady, uh, essentially speaking on behalf of black people. Yeah, this guy is racist towards you. Well, what about the yous? What about those people that you think he's racist towards? What about their perspective? What if you found out they don't see him as racist towards them? It's you that see him as racist towards them, which kind of makes the racistness going on in her mind. So taking to the streets is our JP Reacts resident, talking to people on the streets correspondent, Nick Shirley, who is asking black people some interesting questions, and you'll hear them speak very highly of President Trump and how he interacts with their race, which is different than the purple haired girls. This guy just yelled in the street, Trump 2024. What makes you love Donald Trump? If you're truly a patriotic American, how could you not love Donald Trump? If you actually are somebody that does your research and your due diligence as opposed to being pushed by somebody else's propagandist talking points, how could you hate Donald Trump? Well, the purple haired lady would say before the Charlie Kirk discussion, well, how could you hate Donald Trump? That be because he hates you. And what if he says, well, if I'm allowed to have my own perspective instead of you defining my perspective for me, I would say he cares about me. He's the most popular businessman in American history. If you wanted a movie to be popular throughout all of before 2016, who has the most cameos? I find it funny that as soon as he became a Republican, he became racist. That is kind of funny, isn't it? What did he do that's so racist? He became a Republican. And then the media started pointing out that he's racist. <laughs> Based on the merit of him becoming a Republican. Ain't me that racist that won an NAACP award. Now that's a good question. I... <laughs> What other racist won the NAACP award? I'll wait. Didn't we have peace around the world when Trump was in office? Why are we in war right now? Oh, and for that daggone bill y'all want to keep talking about, about the border? Well, y'all okay with the administration giving 60 billion to um, Ukraine so they can put 1,500 at the border? Here's something else deeper for you to think about. Didn't they leave millions and millions of guns in Afghanistan unguarded and unattended and left the country? Directly after that, Xi Jinping and Putin came down and gave them legitimacy? Well, what, what happens after that? Oh, didn't Biden give Putin access to a gas pipeline? And then directly after that, he went to war with Ukraine. And then was it a coincidence that one of our basketball stars got locked up in Russia and we traded her for Victor Boot. So we traded the Lord of War for Brittany Griner with a whole bunch of unattended guns in Afghanistan. That's what you voted for. That's better than Trump. You need to wake up, bro. Well, purple hair girl, if you're watching, that is the perspective of one of the people that you seemingly claim to speak on behalf of. But nonetheless, I think it is beautiful watching a purple haired brain get melted, not because it feels like a win against them. Primarily, it feels good because it feels like a win for them. Because I think propaganda fits in your head or their head. Propaganda is against you. It's out to exterminate your thoughts, just like a parasite, and take up residence in your head. It is against you. It is using you. So eliminating the propaganda, whether it's 1% or you're a complete free thinker, that is a win for the person. And I would dare say, therefore, a win for the betterment of humanity. That's the latest on purple hair brains melting here on the JP Reacts channel. Let me know what your thoughts are about all this in the comments below. I look forward to reading them because I'm not illiterate and I am not anti, -ill I'm not illiterate phobic. I am a little bit, just to be honest with you. Nonetheless, I'll look forward to seeing you on our next video. But until then, keep thinking for yourself.